The Five Children and It. Five children traveled across the country, for the first time leaving the dusty, arid streets of London behind them. As they breathed the fresh country air, stared at the luscious hills and mountains, the pretty cottages dotted with flowered gardens, their tiny hearts were filled with anticipation and a sense of adventure. We're here, children. The cottage is so beautiful. Well, it's all right. Girls get excited with anything. Would you rather go back to London then, Squirrel? Pooh, now make yourselves useful. It was so much fun to unpack and set the house, which overlooked beautiful woods and orchards all around. The kids would picnic in the woods and play all they liked in the open sunshine in the massive gardens. One day, letters for you. Andrea, this one's for you, dear. Oh, dear. Children. Your grandmother is unwell. I shall have to look after her till she is better. And I need to go out of town for work. Well, both of us are going? We'll be all right, mother. And Martha and the cook are here, so you needn't worry. So, the mother and father left for a few days. Why don't we go and dig at the gravel pit today? What? Yes, come on. Maybe we shall come out to Australia. Jane, Australia is really... Let's go. So the children grabbed their spades and started digging hard at the gravel pit. Suddenly, whoa, what happened? Reached Australia? The, there is something in the pit. What? Look there. <sighs> well, found out. What do you want? Who? What are you? Haven't you heard of sand fairies? We used to live on Earth many, 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 many centuries ago on beaches. Father had said this place too used to be a beach a long time ago. Look, I don't like the sun and the rain. So if you tell me what you want, I can get on with it. You mean like a wish? How clever. Yes. Warning. Whatever you ask for lasts only till sunset. So... Okay, so make us all as beautiful as day. <sighs> Fine. That was a really silly... Who are you? If it weren't your voice, Squirrel. Puss, is that you? And Rabbit? And Panther? We all look so different. As beautiful as day. Look what you've got us into. The children were tired with all the digging and so they went home for lunch. They were entering at the garden. When the gardener saw them, hey, where do you think you're going? Henry? Martha, Madam Martha, see these children walking into the house as if it were theirs. But it is ours. Enough! Now off you go! Else I shall call the police! What is it going to be? Out. The children were forced to leave and spend the rest of the afternoon in the woods. They were tired and hungry and scared. Suppose we never get back our original faces! Mother and father would never know us! That was a silly, silly, silly wish, Panther. What's the point of looking as beautiful as day when you're tired and hungry and homeless and your own people drive you away? I'm so sorry. Look, the sun's going down. The sun went down and suddenly... Robert, you, you look like our rabbit. And Anthea, you are our original panther. And Jane, you are our little puss. 
Squirrel, you are our Cyril. The children went home happy to have their own not-as-beautiful-as-day forms. But the scolding they got from Martha for being away all day. <sighs> Beauty is not so useful after all. The next morning, the children wondered whether it had all been a dream. But they soon realized it was not. Well, you can go out to play. But I want you back home before sunset today. If only I could find those scamps, beautiful ones too, who tried to trespass here yesterday. Well, it wasn't a dream then. There is something we must ask of the Sand Fairy today. Oh, it's you again. Make your wish and leave me alone. We need two wishes, if you will. Please? Manners? Really? Fine. What? Firstly, we would like that the servants in our house would never be able to see our wishes. It's very inconvenient if they do. <sighs> Done. What else? Lots of money. Lots and lots of gold. Make us as rich as kings and queens. <sighs> Always the same silliness. Move away from the gravel pit. The Sand Fairy puffed, blew herself out, and the amount of gold that was, it glittered in the sun so much that the children could barely bear to look at it. They carried as much as they could fill every pocket, every space on their bodies. We can take the carriage to Rochester and spend all the money there. I'll tell you what. We shall each buy ourselves a pony. Gold is heavy. Let's just remove some of the coins. We don't need that many. Good idea. Here's where we shall get the carriage. Sir? Wait, I'll do the talking. What do you think of this? Oh, this is beautiful. It's mine, but I could give you this if you take us to Rochester in your cart. It would go so well in my special box. Or I can make it into a pendant to wear around my neck. I might look like a pirate. Wait! What are they talking about? About taking us to Rochester. Oh, it was, but it was a treat to ride a horse cart all the way to town. Each child harbored dreams of all the things they would get with the money. Finally, they reached it. First things first, let's get something to drink. Lemonade? It is so hot. Yes, please. Hello, I need some lemonade. Thank you. Hey, what's this? A genuine guinea. Keep the change. Genuine? Look, son. I have no use for your make-believe gold, okay? So hand me some real money. I'm telling you. All right, sure. I had to spend my own money to get it. So much for being millionaires. Well, and Thea and I will try. Look, such pretty dresses. I have always wanted a pink hat. How much for these hats? They are very expensive, young lady. We have the money, see? Where are your parents? They're out, but really, this is genuine gold. Enough, please leave. I would hate to use force. The children were tired and hungry, but with all the gold that they had, 
They couldn't buy a thing. Let's just go home. Cyril, you wanted to buy a pony each. Panther, are you out of your mind? Come on, ponies are expensive. They will have to accept our gold. So the children went to the pony keeper and asked for a pony each. At first, the trader laughed, but then <laughs> we have the money. See? Hey, lock the doors and call the police. No, wait, go! Such dangerous children should be sent to jail. The police arrived. And was taking the poor, sorry, rich children to the police station. When suddenly, watch where you're. My, what are all of you doing here? Ma'am, you know them. They're thieves. Look at the amount of money they are carrying. What money? Can't you see? What are you talking about? We asked the fairy that our servants should not be able to notice our wishes. That is why Martha cannot see the money. Well, these are perfectly good children from a perfectly respectable family. How dare you accuse them of thievery? Sir, we found all of this with the children. All of what? Sir, the mu- My, where did it go? I'm telling you, sir, it was right here. We're so sorry, ma'am. The children are free to go. What were you thinking? Coming all the way out to town like that? You are all grounded till your parents come back. We are very, very sorry, Martha. We will never do it again. But please, let us go out for an hour tomorrow. Please, let it be the hottest hour of the day to punish us. Well, fine. Go in the morning before the sun comes up high. Thank you, Martha, and thank you for sticking up for us today. What do you want to go out for an hour for? We need to see if the kind carriage boys disappeared after sunset. If we did, we will have to pay him with our own money for today's ride to Rochester. Of course. Good, you thought of that. In the morning, as the kids were walking towards the carriage owner, they met the little boy. And yes, he still had the guinea, and he was wearing it proudly. I am so glad his guinea is still there. All that gold, and all we could buy was only with our own money. What a waste! Are we ever going to enjoy a wish? Ah, the wishes didn't quite turn out all that great. But maybe the children have to learn to wish for the right things. What do you think?